And if y'all watch my other videos, I show you how I typically polish up the bibbits by using my Dremel. Put the uh, um, gear into the Dremel. And the Dremels have different collars. And for the most part, you can push the gears in the Dremel and polish them up. If you don't have a Dremel, you can use a dr uh, cordless drill, but use this Arkansas stone. If you don't have a cordless drill, but you have pen vices, you can do this. It'll take time, but you just roll the thing back and forth while you have the Arkansas stone on the pivot. Making sure you go all the way around to polish up the pivot. Like I said, it'll take time, but it can be done. You don't want a flat spot on your on your pivot, so that's why you want to make sure you keep on rotating this as you go around. But you want to uh, polish up the pivots uh, as much as you can uh, to make sure the clock works better. On a cuckoo clock, the only time I polish up the pivots, I'll polish up the escape wheel. Uh, I don't worry about the great wheel, but I do the second wheel, third wheel. And if it's an eight day clock, I'll do the escape wheel. As far as the time side, I've never came across a situation, unless I'm putting bushings in, totally different story. You're putting bushings in, you wanna polish up the pivots prior to measuring your pivots to put the bushing in. But um, uh, if you can polish up the pivots, um, but I typically don't polish up the pivots on the chime side of a cuckoo clock. So anyway, it's just, uh, something else I was wanting to mention, but these are called pen vices. And, uh, if you watch my, uh, YouTube video, how to install bushings, I give you the link, uh, or show you. What they look like at, from time savers they're not that expensive and you really need them when you go to work on um, putting bushings in with these reamers so anyway uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel we're getting there